It was actually my dad taking me to our local rec, our recreation ground. Um, it was literally through the cutway out of my house. Um, and down there, there was always a goal up um, without a net, which was which was annoying. But he used to take me out there and uh, he used to take me few, few, uh, through a few drills. And uh, he never used to let me go home until I did it. Really? That was probably my first. Yeah, no matter what the weather was like, you'd keep me out there, whether it was him crossing it and, and me trying to do a nice volley or even just simple passing but if I didn't do it right he'd keep me out there and keep me practicing. It was a Saints shirt um, I didn't actually have a name on the back no it was, it was just it was just a Saints shirt I was really really young um, and uh, yeah it was it was a it was a it was a fun time for me because I was just getting to that age where I was really really trying to push um, with football um, but I was, I, was, I was not expecting the academy at Southampton at a very young age. Um, so I went from kind of supporting Southampton to having a little bit of resentment towards them for, for not accepting me in the academy. So for a number of years, I was very upset with not being able to be in the system. Um, I was going to say, when you came back to Southampton, were you just like that? This is what you could have had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, you know what? I let, I let it go a few years back. Maybe a year ago or something. A couple of years ago, I let it go that they didn't uh, they didn't um, take me on as a young lad. I was only little, yeah. Um, so I think that was kind of the reason I was a bit small for my development. So uh, they said no. I'd probably say Matt the Tiz. Wow. Yeah. What a I would, player. Uh, yeah, what a player. I mean, you know, he could create something out of nothing uh, from anywhere on the pitch. You know, you almost thought that every time he had the ball in the opposition half, you just think wherever he shoots from, he's he's gonna he's gonna score at least worth the keeper. Um, so obviously being a striker, seeing some of the goals he scored was was great for me growing up watching that. For sure. Yeah, and he scored good goals, didn't he? Absolute worldies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. He just he just could find the top corner from any angle. It was no problem. When I got promoted with. Uh, with Burnley and our first game against Chelsea at home under the lights and my first game was against John Terry and you know they had Fabregas and, and loads and loads of top top players it was it was more of a welcome to the Premier League this is yeah. <laughs> and it almost yeah it was it was like a wow um, and I remember the goal that they scored that night um, I think Schella scored it I think um, it was the one with Fabregas um, passed it first time and Schella made the run down the outside and just slotted yeah. past Oh, and I think from like just yeah, it was, it was wow. You know, this is the level, uh, and it was yeah, it was a real eye opener that night. It was strange. It was so strange. Um, the, the the plane getting from we flew down from Manchester, yeah, and uh, the plane was late, so I was sat in the uh, in the waiting room with my agent. And I was just thinking, is this is this going to happen? And um, we managed to get on the plane, got down, and we had to ask for, um, you know, the extension up to the window for a couple of hours, I think, after. So everything was just a crazy rush to get down, um, straight straight from the airport, straight to the cra training ground, get, you know, everything sorted. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a crazy night. Then I went and met um, Mark Hughes and all of the staff that was in, um, in, in the city having dinner. So I went and, and met all the guys and... And I just went to the hotel and, and just slept because it was it was the most craziest day. And then when everything settled down, what was your initiation song? Oh, um, my initiation song was George Ezra, Shotgun. I <laughs> <laughs> It was a little bit worse than that, Chiefs. A little bit worse than that. But... <laughs> Gotta love a bit of George, what a man. Oh yeah. You know, it was just a spare the moment thing. I was listening to it that day. And uh, it's, it's horrible, the initiation song. It's horrible because by the time you get up there, sometimes you completely forget what you're going to sing and everything. <laughs> Luckily enough, that song was in my head all day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, I think we had Everton the day after. So it was up there and it's massive, massive dining room that they've got there where we stay at the um, Titanic. So the echo and everything was, 
was there, but it didn't help my voice one bit. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, mate. Danny, great to see you, mate. That was superb. No worries, buddy. Top man, uh, thank you. See you, Cheers, mate. mate. See you, mate. <laughs>